Hey fam, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited you guys are here today. We're gonna be live swatching the new ColourPop Cosmetics and My Little Pony collaboration. Now this is not as live as I normally like my live swatching videos to be. Yesterday I actually filmed this entire video. I was using a brand new microphone. I thought I had it figured out. I did test it, I thought it was fine. I then filmed the whole video and there was no audio and it like pained my soul. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you saw my like live meltdown over it. It was pretty dramatic, so I apologize for that. Nevertheless, I do have the swatches that I filmed yesterday, so I'm just gonna tell you guys about the collection and I will show the clips of me live swatching over it and tell you what I thought about each product. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanna start with is the lips of this collection. There are a total of six new lip products in this collaboration and they are adorable. This is the packaging here. It says Little Pony X ColourPop. There's ultra glossy lips and then there are also ultra matte lips. These cost six dollars a piece and I'm going to show you guys swatches of them now. Let's first start with the ultra glossies of this collection because they're kind of my favorite. I absolutely love the colors but what I love even more is the insane micro glitter in them. They are beautiful. I actually have one on today. I'm currently wearing the shade Flutter Valley which is this one right here. It looks kind of bright bronzy and gold, but when it applies to the lips, it's more of a clear gloss with just a ton of micro glitter in there. It's pink glitter, it's gold glitter, it's really beautiful. You can see what I mean. I thought this was gonna be super pigmented and a little bit more metallic, but it actually isn't. It goes on definitely more sheer, but there's just so much glitter in there that it really packs a punch. I absolutely love this color because I think it goes with absolutely anything. Your lips still kind of stay your own natural color. They're just super zhuzhed up and glisteny, and I love that look. The next shade here is called Ponyland and it's a beautiful mauve with some really nice gold glitter in there. Not just gold glitter, there's even some green, some blue, some orange kind of like a whole rainbow of glitter, which made it really interesting. I love that this one, though it is super glittery, is still pretty wearable. The color is definitely just simple. It's nothing you can't wear every day unless you don't love the glittery look. But personally, I think that the glitter is so fine that you could totally get away with this. It's just super glossy and pretty. I'm obsessed with these ultra glossies. The next shade is called Dream Castle, and this is what it looks like here in the tube. You can see it is super duper hot pink, almost like a magenta pink, and the glitter is just not lacking at all. It is fully packed with micro glitter. The glitter variation in this one, it's still kind of like a rainbow effect. You have some gold, you have some purple, some blue, some orange. It's just a very rainbow-esque glitter, and I love that they put that glitter in here. It does kind of give me My Little Pony vibes. And I've said this before, but I think that the ultra glossy lips are so huggable to the lips. That's what I love about them. They literally like hug your lips and stay on so, so well. They're very comfortable, and what I love is even though that they are super packed with the glitter, you don't feel it too much. There's a slight grit, but there's nothing uncomfortable. It's nothing that's gonna like cut your lips or be just too thick or too, you know what I'm talking about when you get a real glittery lip gloss and you can, you can like feel it, it's intense. These are so fine that it's still very, very comfortable. I really do love each shade of these. It's kind of hard for me to pick a favorite, but I do think my two favorites are Ponyland, the more mauve shade, as well as Flutter Valley, which again, I do have on today. I just love how it makes my lips look. They're still natural, but there's just such a fine glitter oomph to it. I love it. I highly recommend you pick up at least one of these if you're a glitter fan because they are beautiful and the packaging is just adorable. I really love how they did the packaging for this collection. Next, let's talk about the ultra mattes. I know these are a favorite of a lot of viewers. Everybody loves the ultra mattes. They again are ultra ultra matte and they're just gorgeous. So there are three colors in this too. Let's first start with Lemon Drop, which looks like this. Again, just take a moment for the packaging. I think it's so pretty. This is a beautiful lavender in the tube, but I noticed once I applied it and it dried down, it did almost oxidize to a bit of a deeper purple. It's a very interesting purple. It's it's grapey, but it's not too deep. It's a little muted, but it, it it's I have the hardest time explaining this purple because I do think it is unique. I don't think I have a purple like this lip. So if you're a purple lips fan, I think you would really enjoy Lemon Drop. Plus, I mean, I don't know if you guys ever go out and you get a lemon drop at the bar. It's like my favorite thing. That's neither here nor there, but I love the name because lemon drops are delicious. The next shade is called Pinwheel, and can we just talk about hot, hot pink? This is a very gorgeous hot pink. I think what I love the most about it is it isn't too bright or too neon. Don't get me wrong, it is bright. It's a hot, hot, bright pink, but it's not too yellowy, if you know what I'm saying. There's enough blue in this lip that it's still... 
I don't know. I just really like it. I don't know how to describe it. I know I'm doing a terrible job, but it's just a hot pink. It's beautifully matte. It looks great on the lips. I think it even made my teeth a little whiter. Unlike, I will say, lemon drops, I felt they looked a little more yellow with this type of purpley tone, which is common, but I love them both. They're really beautiful. If you're a pink fan, you will love the pink one. It is just super bright. Lastly, we have Moon Dancer, and this is totally for all the fall lip lovers out there. This is a beautiful, beautiful, dark burgundy, almost more of a deep, deep, deep mauve, I'd say, as opposed to a burgundy, but once it dries down, it is a dark, dark lip. Again, if you're a fall lip lover, you need this lip. It is so beautiful. I don't necessarily think, and I will pair the pink one in with this statement as well, I don't think there's anything super unique about these tones. I do believe I've seen these before, whether from ColourPop or from another brand. They're still gorgeous though, and at $6, you really can't beat that for a nice liquid lip, especially if you're into like collections and collecting different collaborations with brands. I think they're beautiful and they're great and they're only six dollars which is fantastic but they were not necessarily super unique to me. I will say that I thought Lemon Drop was super unique and if I had to only choose one I would probably choose this one just because I like a variation of different colors. I like to buy things I haven't had before or I haven't seen before and this would definitely be one of them. Also if you were curious about the packaging this is what they come in. Oh I love it. Again I think it's just so adorable. I think they picked the perfect color palette for all the little ponies because it looks like old and fun you know kind of like our throwback My Little Pony stuff but also a little modern with the shades that they used. I just thought it was adorable. Next up, let's talk about the Super Shock Shadows. Oh my gosh, how beautiful is this packaging? Again, I love the detail. I love the light, dusty lavender. Oh lord, my bad. I love the light, dusty lavender of the little shadow pots themselves. I think it's a gorgeous color. It's just very neutral, but still fun. Even the labeling, I think, is very pretty. It's both very true to ColourPop and My Little Pony, and the colors are gorgeous. Again, I'm so sorry you're not seeing my live reaction with these products, because that's what I love the most about live swatching videos, but I still wanted to come here and kind of throw that video together so that you guys did not miss out on these swatches, because they are just so unique on the lids. Let's first start with Cherry's Jubilee. That's this shadow here. It's the lightest of the collection. It looks kind of white when you first look at it, but on the lid, it applies such a beautiful purpley pink micro fine glitter. And I felt like the white almost didn't even show up that much. It reminds me of like fairy dust. And I still feel like the swatches in my video were not doing it justice. I think I, I don't even know what type of lighting or camera lens I would need to truly capture how it looks because it's just magical. I keep saying in my viewfinder that it just kind of looks white, but it isn't. It's a very sheer white, but there's a hardcore pink, glittery, purple, glimmer, shimmer in there. It's beautiful all over the lid. At the end of my video yesterday, I even atopped this onto some of the powder shadows in the eyeshadow palette from this collaboration, and it pumped it up, baby. It made it so beautiful. That's what I love, I think, the most about the Super Shocks. They're pretty on their own, but when I layered them over another shadow, like a darker eyeshadow, it just like brought it to life. It changed the look completely, and it was just breathtaking. So if you do pick up these Super Shock shadows, I would almost recommend you use them as a shadow tone topper because it completely changed my eyeshadow look. They were so beautiful. I felt like I had club eyes. It was just like magical. It's something I'd want to wear to like a dark place with like a lot of cool lighting and I'd be like mm -mm, mm -mm. The next shade I have here is called Posy. You can see this one's like a very light light peachy or almost like a champagne color. It's super metallic again. There's not much pigment to the shadow itself but the glitter is gorgeous. I have it swatched on my hand here if you want to compare it to the first shadow, but you can see how it's definitely just more of like a very nude shade with some pale gold and champagne-y and silver sparkle in it. I'd say it's the most wearable of the three. It's the most natural, but it's still super duper glamorous. When I look at this shadow, all I can think of is just putting this all over my lid with really thick lashes and a bright red lip, whether uh, probably like a matte red lip because this is so shiny. I think it would be beautiful. Come New Year's, come holiday, you know, whatever you celebrate, it would look so beautiful. No matter your eye color or skin tone, it's just gonna be glamorous. It's almost like that wet look. I think it'll give your eyes more of a wet look and it's it's just beautiful. And again, I think you could totally use it as an eyeshadow topper to really jazz up whatever shadows you have at home. This is called Sunbeam. 
It's a beautiful periwinkle purple type of color and it is not without shimmer and shine you guys. There's a gorgeous blue pink purple glitter in it. It made it so unique. You can probably tell mine did arrive a little broken so I'm not sure if the formula is different in these or if mine just got kind of messed around with in the shipping process if it got dropped or something. I'll show you that one swatched on my hand as well so you can compare it to the others. It is just beautiful. I loved this one on its own, but again, when I topped it on top of a darker shadow, I used the kind of off black shadow in the My Little Pony palette. It just, boom, it just bounced it up. I don't even know what words are, like I don't know how to describe it, but it amped up that shadow so much. It made it so freaking cool, so unique, and I just felt so awesome in it. It's beautiful. This is definitely my favorite of the Super Shock shadows. Again, this is called Sunbeam. It's just beautiful. I have no words for it. I'm definitely going to be ordering a backup of this one because I loved how it looked on top of the other shadows. And in case you care, this is what the Super Shock shadow packaging looks like. Again, just very adorable. Even the inside, I hope you can see, has the My Little Ponies on it. It's just lavender with white ponies. It's adorbs. There are also, I believe, two highlighters in this collection. I did not get sent that in PR. I just got sent this stuff, so I'm sorry I don't have swatches of those, but I'm for sure going to order them. So stay tuned to my channel. I'll have that up soon. Next, I want to jump right into the eyeshadow palette. I'm sure you guys are super excited for this. I was so excited when I saw there's an actual shadow palette. The colors are divine. This is what the packaging looks like. So you have the My Little Pony and ColourPop logo, and this is the back with all the shade names. I just love all the detail. I think they put a lot of detail into the packaging. Even down to the inside, it still has all those little My Little Ponies. It's just gorgeous. This here is what the actual palette looks like, and I'm obsessed. I cannot get over this packaging. I'm a sucker for packaging like much of us, and I just think it's gorgeous. I love the rainbow, all the ponies. You still have the ColourPop and My Little Pony logo. It's beautiful. And on the back, it has really beautiful clouds, fluorescent clouds, and all the shade names. Again, just so much detail. On the inside, I was a little disappointed that there is not a mirror in this palette, but it's still okay. I think it keeps the price lower. The palette is $22, which I don't think is that bad at all for all the shadows that you get. And there's a really nice color range. They are very My Little Pony-esque to me. They're, some are more muted, some are more light. You have your shimmers and metallics but also a few mattes. I thought there was a very good variation. I also love that there is a you know highlighter color as well as a darker crease color or it's it's not even just black it's kind of like a purpley black but that's always my thing in eyeshadow palettes. I need one highlighter shade and I need one black accent color to create a full look. That's just how I am. So let's get to the swatches on these. I did try each shade on each eye so you guys can see how it looks like on my eyes. Of course, if you're a different complexion, this might vary just the same with the lip products and the Super Shock shadows, but they are still gorgeous and I can't wait to see other ladies using this so I can see the different variations. So let's first start with Butterscotch. That is this shadow here. It's very simple. It's just a matte, light, creamy shade. It's very, very light. It's pretty much a white shadow but there's a little bit of beige in it, just a little hint of beige. Um, it's very creamy, very pigmented. I think it'd be great for an all over shadow or just your highlights or whatever. It's very light though, I will say that. The next shade is called Blossom. It is this shadow right here. It's a beautiful pinky gold. Think of like NARS Orgasm, that type of tone. It's not as much as a, a bright of a gold or as much as like a yellow. It's definitely more of a warmer gold in it. It's a beautiful metallic, and again, when I do my live swatches, I apply it on completely dry eyes with a completely dry brush. I set my lids with translucent powder between each shadow so that there's no moisture grabbing the shadow. So I do think that speaks to how pigmented these shadows are. The next shade is called Starshine. I love this color so much, and I think using it with a wet or a more tacky shadow base will just make it that much better. But I even loved it dry on my lid. It's an orange, but there's definitely like a reddish undertone to it and it does kind of shimmer gold. It's a very pretty color. I think it'll look good on everybody, especially going into fall. It's a really pretty look. The next shade here is called Bluebell. The one thing I'll say is I really kind of thought Butterscotch and Bluebell, I thought their names should kind of be switched. This just seems more butterscotchy to me. This seems more bluebell to me. And I actually felt that way with a few shadows in this palette, so I'll talk about those in a second. But it's just a very light, creamy yellow shadow with um, a little bit of shimmer in it. It's very simple, but it's pretty. The next shadow, and one of my favorites of the palette, is called Applejack. It's a very light mulberry shade, almost a little pinky, but there's definitely, um, it's more of like a burnt pinky 
compared to some of the other shadows in here. I love that it's matte and I think it's going to look beautiful as a transition color, but it's also really pretty all over the lids. I, I was not disappointed in that shadow at all. And it did apply more sheerly without a base, but I think with a primer, it's gonna be awesome. The next shade is called Sky Dancer. It's very beautiful. It's a light purple with a lot of metallic. I'm not crazy about purple and lavender shadows unless it's like with a deep smoky eye. I would really love to apply that one all over the lid with Applejack in the crease and a little bit of the darker shadow on the outer V. I think it would make a really fun and pretty and totally My Little pony esque smoky eye but if you love your purples you will really like this shadow the next shadow here is called minty and again this is one of those shadows that I thought the name could have been switched out with one of the more actually minty shadows I was a little confused on why it's called minty I don't know if maybe that's a my little pony name I'm really not familiar but it's beautiful it's matte it's deep it's very rich it's a true mulberry and I think it's just gorgeous. It was also very pigmented without a primer. I was super impressed by this shadow. Next up we have Flutter By, and it is again a matte shadow. It's a little peachy, it's super duper creamy. When I was the first applying this to the lid, I thought it wasn't doing much, and then when I finished and kind of took a step back, I was like, oh wow, that is like super peachy, and it did show up. Um, I could see this maybe getting a little ashy on some people depending your skin tone, but it's still really pretty and I think it'll make a nice accent color for some people or a nice transition color or you could simply use it to help blend out other shadows. Next up on the bottom row we have Twilight. This was the shadow that kind of threw me for a loop. I thought it was just going to be black, but when I started applying it to the lid and I kind of moved around, I could see a bit of a purplish duochrome in it. There was a bit of a purple shimmer that it was very subtle, very slight. But I think if I would use it with a wet brush or a tackier base, it would show through a lot more. And I actually topped one of the Super Shock shadows on top of this shadow. I believe I did it with Sunbeam and it just transformed that shadow. It totally amped it up and I loved mixing those together. I just thought it was really, really pretty. Next up we have Firefly. This might be my most favorite shadow in the palette which surprised me because I'm not particularly drawn to these tones, but it applied so freaking well. Without a base, without any moisture, it was extremely pigmented, extremely metallic, so I can only imagine if I would have used it with a wet brush or a tackier base, it would have just been insane. I love this color and I cannot wait to do a look with it. I just can't stop thinking about it. I think it's going to be gorgeous. Next up we have Snuzzle, which is adorable. Uh, but this shade I was really curious on and I was shocked by. When it went on, I didn't notice much color to it, but it is so duochrome. I think that's what I love the most about it. I think, again, I sound like a broken record, but with a wet base, it's going to be insane. It definitely has a super minty blue duochrome to it, and it was super unique, and I think it totally brought the whole My Little Pony thing all together. I love this shade. Lastly, you have the shade Princess Sparkle, which is this beautiful emerald. Again, not that this matters, but I kind of felt like maybe My Princess Sparkle and Twilight's names should be flipped around. I don't know why. I just, I kind of thought so, but it's beautiful. It is rich. It is super duper pigmented. And this is the shadow that I would really like to try Firefly with. This minty color, I would love to mix it with this one and see what I can come up with. It's just a beautiful shadow, super rich and super satiny. Please let me know your feelings on this palette, you guys. I would love to know if you like the colors, do you like the color range, do you like the shadow names, do you like the packaging? Let me know your thoughts because I'm dying to know. Again, I believe this is $22, so I don't think that's too bad for a full palette like this. So that's it for the makeup. There are a few little knickknacks you can also purchase in this collection. Why did I call them knickknacks? I don't know. The first thing here, and I'm sorry that they're dirty because again, it's what I was using yesterday to film this video. This is a brush set. It's adorable. I will say I kind of broke mine on accident. So be careful of that when you open it up. This is the brush set that you can purchase. I do think it's a cute little brush pouch. It is just very, it's plastic. So it's not super, you know, super nice or luxurious, but it's pretty. I think it fits the theme and you do you get five brushes in this so there's a blending brush and again they are synthetic so you can use it for whatever you want but I'm just kind of generalizing here you have a blending brush a contour or blush brush you have a 
fan brush as well as a shadow and an angled brush there so that is a pretty nice little variation of brushes I think that they are really cute and the quality actually is pretty decent I used these yesterday to apply my makeup I didn't have any brush fallout like any hairs falling out um, it, they're pretty nice pretty thick I really liked the quality I was surprised by it actually and this is what the handle looks like it's cute it has my little pony and color pop on it I love the colors it's just super cutesy if you're into my little pony if you're super girly I think you'd really like this set and like I said they did work just great so I believe you can get that for $16 if I didn't already say it the last little item you can purchase is this makeup bag which I think is gorgeous it's a very light purple metallic obviously you have the my little pony and color pop rainbow logo right on it which I think is such a nice detail you have a cute little pony on there and again I just love that everything has Hasbro on it it's like clearly like very truly from them and then even on the inside it is decorated in ponies so it's just very very adorable again I don't think it's necessary but if you're into this cutesy my little pony stuff you will love to have this I think it's cool to have something that has ColourPop and my little pony on it I'm just a ColourPop geek like I love it and I love their collaboration so I was excited by this so that's it for my live swatches you guys I want to just kind of run through really quickly and tell you the things I absolutely think you should purchase if you have the means if you're interested I will tell you my top picks. So certainly I love these two Super Shock shadows. I love Posey, which was the more nude shade. And of course I loved Sunbeam, the purpley shade. They're beautiful. I think, again, that Posey with a matte red lip would just look so awesome during the holidays. I think it's going to be gorgeous. And Sunbeam is just so fun. This purple metallic is just such a fun color. I love, love, love it. For the liquid lipsticks, if I had to pick two, I would probably pick Lemon Drop and Moon Dancer, the darker and the more lavender purple shade. They're just more unique to me, and I do have other pink, hot pink liquid lipsticks, so it wasn't super duper necessary for me, but I love it. It is pretty, and but those would probably be my two picks if I could only pick two. As far as the ultra glossy lips go, honestly, I love them all, and this is what I have the hardest time choosing between. I think, personally, I would probably choose Flutter Valley and Ponyland, but I really do love Dream Castle. Dream Castle is just so pink and glossy and glittery and fun and I'm a huge fan of it. Oh, these are, this is what I like can't choose between. I love all the ultra glossy lips and again, I just love Flutter Valley. It's like, again, wearable. It's pretty. I'll apply a little bit more. I just think it makes your lips look so nice. They look fresh and plump and just super glimmery and glossy and fun. I, I can't choose, you guys. I can't choose. I do love Ponyland and I love Flutter Valley. Those two are probably my most favorite but it doesn't mean that Dream Castle isn't also amazing. I just don't wear a lot of pinks, like hot, hot pinks. So that's it for my live swatching video today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely let me know your favorite items from this collection in the comments down below. These will be launching October 5th, October 4th or October 5th? I believe October 5th. If I'm wrong, I will have all the correct information in the bottom box down below. Again, thank you for watching today. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and you know, give your girl a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. My thumbs up have gone super down lately. They pretty much don't even break a thousand on a video. So I'm like, oh my gosh, are you guys like over me? Like, what's the deal? That's not very typical for my channel. So it's kind of giving me anxiety. I'm worried that, no, you guys don't like me anymore. I'll be honest. I worry that people don't like me anymore. So if there's something I'm doing wrong in these videos or something that you don't like, because I'm not, I don't want to force you to give me a thumbs up. But if you do like them, I would appreciate a thumbs up because for some reason that means something to me. And it, I probably put too much weight into that, honestly, but whatever. Thank you guys again for watching today. I love you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!